At its heart, the Net Promoter System is about creating a culture in which companies make better decisions on behalf of customers and learn faster. The only way to do that is by getting reliable feedback from your customers and converting that into something that you can use for decision making. Now, that starts with soliciting feedback from the right set of customers, of course, it's getting your sampling methodology right. But it also requires that you solicit the feedback with the right frequency, that you establish consistent methods for getting the feedback so that you can compare the results, and earning high response rates. On that last point, imagine that you're like most companies and you accept you know, 10, 15, 20% response rates. What you're saying there is that it's okay that 80% of your customers don't respond, aren't willing to give you feedback? That's sort of crazy. In the net promoter system, we don't accept that. The other thing you need to do is eliminate sources of bias. Where does bias come from? Well, some customers are afraid to be candid. They are embarrassed about providing feedback or uh, they don't want to hurt some employee or maybe they're a uh, small company and they're giving feedback to a big one and they're worried about some sort of backlash. Eliminate gaming. When your employees, for example, uh, change who gets surveyed or ask customers for tens. And eliminate sources of responder bias. You know, some customers respond to email, some customers respond on the phone. If you're getting response from a cross-section of customers that varies significantly from the overall population, you have responder bias. And the only way to be sure that you're not getting responder bias is ultimately to get very high response. But even without that, make sure that you're testing in there. Now, the truth is that um, each company has a different situation. You have different customer relationships. You have different types of customers. You have a different setting in which you're asking for feedback. So you'll need to tune the feedback to the specific situation that you're in. Ultimately, the only way to know whether you have a truly reliable metric is to validate that the scores you're getting, the feedback you're getting, matches up with individual customer behavior and the economics of the business. So is it true that promoters really do buy more, stay longer, tell their friends, cost less to serve? If not, you don't have a reliable metric.